world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have shared my experiences with you about what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times, I like to uh, cover topics that are going on with autism and the media, as well as give my two cents about how things should be done, how they should not be done. And finally, I like to cover topics that I am passionate about, such as uh, DragonCon 2014, which, by the way, I will be there in a little more than four weeks, and I'm really excited about it because I went last year and had such a blast, and I hope you guys will be there too and that you guys will help me promote this project right here on YouTube. So, tonight, I would like to uh, talk about my experiences of what it's like for me to live with autism and deal with other people that say that they understand someone like me when, in fact, they're really not. Now, these are people that can be job coaches or people that can be autistic specialists in our school systems. These can be everyday average people that live in our community. And these can be uh, volunteer directors and people at our uh, places of worship and all just all over the place. And uh, I've noticed a difference between someone that really understands someone like me versus someone that does not. And someone who understands me will talk to me like I am a normal, a everyday, average adult, and they will support someone like me no matter what. And they say, you know what, Maya, you can do it. You just need to work around your problem. And then uh, the other person who doesn't understand me is someone that's really more tolerable of me, and uh, they will talk to me like I am a child with a really high, phony voice. And I've noticed this several times, and this often frustrates me and makes me angry. And it just, um, I mean, it's driven me to a point where I uh, called someone like that the B word because I got tired of being talked down to like I was a child. And I want to give an example. So let's say I'm at my congregation and uh, there's someone that I know that says that they understand someone like me and they're talking to a regular adult and they're talking about um, their everyday average lives, let's say they, somebody decides to buy a house or they're going to get married or they're going to have a big family reunion and they're just sitting there talking about it and the other person seems to be really interested. Well, let's say I come up and they talk to me in this really phony voice like, hello, how's Maya doing today? You know, it's just, it drives me absolutely bonkers. I mean, just because I have a label on me doesn't mean I'm a little kid. I mean, yes, I like cartoons. I like Lord of the Rings. I may be hyper-focused on, on stuff, but you know what? I'm just as equal as the other person you're talking to. Come on. So, for those of you that live with autism, and if you're listening to this, I would like to hear some of your examples. So please be sure to post them below. And then, uh, for those of you that uh, that want to learn more about autism, please be sure to uh, put your questions below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Good night.